Hello and welcome to Darius Tabletop and today we'll look at my first game Horus Heresy. It's not a real first game, it's my introductory game. That's how you say it. Um, I kind of fell in love with Horus Heresy for the past few weeks because I was looking for a 40k with alternative activations and some of you guys and also friends suggest that the Horus Heresy, which doesn't have like really alternating activi uh, activations, would, which would be cool, but it has something called reactions. And there is um, the one page rules, which I will also check out. But the Horus Heresy has something and that's um, a really, really cool setting. So... Um, let's get into why I kind of love it. And, and, uh, the same for bolt action. Once I saw the tanks, I thought, okay, I like this. And once I saw, wait a second, this kind of units and this kind of units, like the ones with the beaks and all of that stuff, but like this one, like the nostalgia already had me. I'm 39 years old. Um, and when I was a kid, I always wanted to play 40k, which I did and I will and I'm doing. But um, sometimes 40k feels a bit strange and I, lo I like bold action very much. And somehow it led me to this game. Uh, don't ask me how. So I called up my friend uh, Sandro who plays the game. Um, there are a few in our local game store and um, again I fell in love with the legions, with the lore. Um, a friend brought me the books and I started reading um, the rule books and I was kind of intrigued and also intrigued by the things you can do in this game. And yeah, maybe I'm going to play the Emperor's Children or the World Eaters or the Imperial Fists. For me, it's definitely something um, I have to like from the look. And what I also like, um, I, I know some don't, but I really, really do. I really do love the firstborn Space Marines. Like um, the Primaris do, do not get my juices really flowing um, although they look good, sometimes like they look pretty good, but I think I'm stuck in time when my childhood or teenage self wanted to play Terminators like this and bikers like this and couldn't afford it. And I think I have to scratch that itch. And so here we are playing Horus Heresy. And um, Sandro brought his Alpha Legion. And I asked him, how did you choose? And he said, I always planned, wanted to play Alpha Legion, so it was a no-brainer. A friend of mine picked the Iron Hands. And now we'll come to the army I have today on the table. And that's really cool because um, I kind of had them lying around. Uh, just, you can already see they have wings and they're black. So um, I think the next picture will show you more clearly. So, um a good friend of mine who I play bold action with um, and also 40k brought me these minis. As you can see, this is a Dark Vengeance Lieutenant and this is a Dark Vengeance Hero uh, called Balthasar. And um, I think he stands on a 32 millimeter base, but yeah, there's no, no, no but. but. Um, and he brought me also this uh, Ravenwing Bikers because I was constantly trying to play stuff like this in 40k, but just the stats were too bad. And he thought, like, I know you like those minis. I know you like to play them. Maybe you can do something with this. And now it came to uh, 30K and I thought I couldn't play these. And Sandro told me, yes, yes, you can play these kinds of Terminators. I think these are Indominus, uh, Indominus Terminators. And you can play uh, Tactical Marines and, and you have the Firstborns. So no problemo. And yeah. And so I brought these three guys and I told Sandro I will play one of them. And he, and he said, yeah, play, play the Balthasar. You will give him a nice base, paint him up. And I was selling this dude on eBay. But um, when I got this mini, uh, he had already this broken 
Wings or yeah, I think nobody would love uh, wanted to buy him. So I said to myself, why not paint him up for a Horus Heresy army and just play the hell out of these guys? And yeah, that's what I did. I, and um, if I need him for um, 40k, as you can see, they have all the Death Watch insignia right here. Um, but yeah, I really. Uh, maybe maybe I take take this one off again, but yeah. So they were meant to be Death Watch Marines, which they are. Um, but I will also use them in the Horus Heresy at least until I got um, my Legion. And so I'm bringing um, a Praetor, three Bikers or Outriders. I'm bringing um, a Cybot or um, what's this guy called? Um, yeah, the Ferris, the something Ferris guy. And he has a last gun, like the last gun guy I don't have, but this guy is a kid, uh, out kitted with a last gun and um, a fist. I'm bringing five Terminators um, with Storm Bolters and Chain Fist. And, so, and Sandro just picked a list and brought me a list. Um, and he said, look, play what you got and just, just get into the rules, just get into the game. The rest will come naturally the more you you play um then i'm taking a 10-man tactical marine squad um then i'm taking five guys with plasma launchers and then i'm taking another tactical marine squad as you can see here i'm yeah just just uh, just trying to play a bit with them and uh, yeah not not yet finished but yeah and then um i don't know why he gave me five flamers but he kind of saw i had five flamers and he said just grab those dudes and um yeah let's see what they do and then he brought his alpha legion and he painted this alpha legion like really beautifully as you can see they have also a bit of um enhanced bits right here and they look amazing, great color scheme. And yeah, just very lovely. He brought a rhino. Um, I don't know what this is called, but a speeder with two last cannons and a heavy bolter. Um, maybe maybe I can itch that scratch of a land speeder and play that in Horus Heresy. Then, um, is this a Contemptor dread Dreadnought? Uh, really beautifully. And a special ops team with his hero, um, a sniper. And yeah, I'm just making a few pictures uh, and showing you how beautifully they are painted. Um, yeah, great edge highlights. Um, so this is the list. Um, and the, the, the Dark Angels, maybe not so noob friendly, but I just picked them just for uh, my test games. And he said, okay, for your... Tactical Marines, you take the Stormwing, uh, you hit, uh, you're, you're, you you have plus one to hit, and then Raven Wing has plus one to move, and then I don't know what this was, but um, the sad thing about it is that we forgot all about the plus one to hit for my Terminators and for my Tactical Marines. Um, this would have been come would it would have been really handy but we forgot forgot about it because i was keeping track of so many new rules and he was trying to explain it but at the alpha legion that we didn't um forget um that you can always subtract um, two inches from enemy charges enemy shooting so these guys are kind of cool but yeah a uh, strong strong rule and he puts them in infiltration so he deploys his beautiful troops and um he deploys them like pretty openly like he doesn't put anything behind a uh, line of sight blocking cover and i put my hero in my terminator squad and what else this is the deployment zone as you can see um this guy has a last gun um i think 48 inch reach this guy have heavy so they, if they move they cannot shoot so I, I put him here so that i can shoot at everything with my plasma 
and um, these guys on the right flank, these guys in the right flank, then these guys in the middle, and yeah, this guy overlooking the middle of the board, and plasmas, flame termes, um, and my flamer guys. And I think he takes turn one. With these bikes, I can do a free six inch move. And he puts his warlord up here, so he can pretty much snipe at everything he wants. So I feel a bit outclassed, but I'm thinking, okay, we're just playing, I'm just getting into the game. Let's see how this goes. So I think he moves turn one with everything he can move. Um, he then sh moves up the rhino to the middle of the board or over the middle of the board and disembarks this special troops. And they have also an apothecary, so they have a 5 plus invulnerable save. Yeah, um, I should have brought an apothecary too. But yeah, um, what then? He's shooting, he's telling me about the reactions that I could move away, that I could. Uh, kind of go down or counter fire and I'm kind of intrigued by that. I like that. Um, I like the reactions and so let me see. So maybe maybe sometimes I don't know what's happening on the board so that forgive me but here I know what's happening. Um, I think he shoots two, he, he kills two of my terminators which suck. I think they they get hit by the by the dreadnought. And his sniper shoots at my hero and he has just one wound. He, he he doesn't table me turn one because he's trying to teach me the game. Thank you. <laughs> and then I think I advance up with these guys and these guys are in the middle. Or maybe I just let them stand. And if, if you don't move with them, then you get an extra shot. And if the enemy is within 12 inches, um, half of the range of your bolters, you get another shot. Um, the one is for just standing still and the other one is for half the range. Then on the other board, I think I move up and then shoot. Um, would I have touched this rough terrain, I would have lost um, two of my movement characteristic. So if you move to, through, through rough terrain, um, you count this as minus two to your movement. And yeah, so I move up with these guys. I think they can move 14 inches and I shoot. Uh, one thing that I think feels a bit underwhelming, um, but I have to check um, on Battlescribe my stats, is that these guys had just one shot with those two bolters, but they're twin linked. Twin linked in Horus Heresy means um, it's not to wound, but to hit. It's to reroll, which is pretty handy. But I would have loved to have a few more shots with a bolter. I mean, just if you play the game and you have bolters on your bike and you're driving up with that thing, let it have at least two shots. Make it four shots just for awesomeness. Would would it would have been cool? And in 40k, the bikers have toughness five and two wounds, um, and also all the firstborns have two wounds in Terminator three. In this game, everything has one wound, which feels very very strange but we'll see so he did shoot at my terminators and my terminators and my hero retaliates not that something procs on a six but that's just to show that these guys um will retaliate for um the two lost battle brothers in terminator armor and they're shooting at this guy as you can see they are really thick right now um, with 3 plus armor and an apothecary. Um, this is the board, as you can see. And what's going on right here? Yeah, just, just showing you what's going on on the board. And yeah, here a squad advancing here, the dreadnought in the middle, um, the special guys. And here you have the land speeder and the snipers. And yeah, we're thinning out the the special troop squad in the middle, just shooting at them. And I really like that you can say counter fire um, or yeah, just a reaction to go down. You could also go down with a squad. And 
uh, get a five plus cover save or invulnerable save. I have to check. So these guys have advanced and I want to charge in with these guys. But what Sandro didn't tell me is that he can fire Overwatch. I mean, um, maybe I should have paid better attention, but yeah, my first game. So he didn't use the reaction of shooting and, or maybe he did. No, we're, we're in a different phase. I think now we're entering a different phase. So I want to charge this guy and they can fire Overwatch. But in 40k, you can only hit on a six plus when you're uh, only on sixes when you fire Overwatch. But here it's unmodified. So these 10 guys, because I'm in half range, they get a shot more because they are standing still. They get a shot more. So it's 10 tactical Marines shooting overwatch at these guys with 30 shots and these guys are not toughness 5 and 6 wounds these are toughness 4 with 3 wounds and so I'm kind of pissed and I take him off the table and I tell him bro like this is my introduction game like why and he says yeah you can take that back and I says no just just let's play just next time this won't happen and so we enter turn 2 Turn two, <clears throat> this guy takes a wound or took a wound last turn from my last gun, Dreadnought. And this guy's marching up. I think he wants to eat something here. And I'm telling him, yeah, come and get some. The Rhino rams my tactical Marines. And I think, I don't know what happens, but I think the rest is fine. These guys move up and shoot um, the Contemptor Dreadnought uh, eats one flamer alive or maybe doesn't doesn't make too many wounds so underperforms but I'm pretty happy that he underperforms and now my my Dreadnought my box Dreadnought what's what's his name Ferus Ferus Dreadnought is walking up and he says don't touch my guys um, these guys have taken wounds. They were shot at. Um, I think, yeah, nothing I could do. Or what did I do? Did I did I did I return fire? We'll see. So in the middle of the board, um, these guys from the Rhino, they say, "Okay, screw you, Rhino. We're going for these guys. We're putting a bunch of shots in here because we're Dark Angels, and these guys are holding the line." while the Terminators and the hero right here, you can see the hero with his big fat sword, are walking up um, to the Dreadnought in the middle and want to dance with him. So these guys shooting, I don't know where we are, but yeah, let me turn this around. And now here's the party. This is what's happening. Um, yeah, it's it's time to, to punch this Dreadnought in the face. Um, and so here, another aspect, it's like melee, and in melee you got initiative, and I think those guys, have, no, the hero has the highest initiative, and he strikes first, and he almost kills the guy, but um, the five up invulnerable save saves this guy, then these guys punch, then he punches, then uh, the terminator punch, and then he punches, and... Yeah, it's a good, it's a good, hefty, beautiful, millified with beautiful models. And we're all having fun. And this guy says, okay, enough of this. Let's stab this Alpha Legion, a mother lover, and send him to hell. And they do. And once it's done, um, they can consolidate. And the Flamer guys go into the left direction. And these guys go towards this this team, and yeah, only two wounds remaining, only one wound remaining. So it's turn three. What's gonna happen? So Sandro thinks, okay, it's uh, Dario's first introduction game. I think now it's time to shoot his 160 points Praetor dead. Um, and I think he does. He just wait a second. Yeah, I think he does. And then he takes his land speeder with the dual last cannon and just shoots down my box dreadnought. 
Um, and this guy is shell shocked and just runs away. I love that mechanic that the troops run to the sixes and have to rally. I, I really do love that. I miss that in 40k. Um, I think it's it's too watered down. I, I love this mechanic. Um, yeah, looks cool. I think I think I will paint this guy up the right way. So I'm approaching the left flank and I'm trying out the flamer template. Uh, which is really fun and Sandro tells me that they cannot flame through each other like if I had a bunch of 10 flamers Doesn't work if I have here another 10 flamers they they can't flame through them So they need to position themselves in a way that um, each one can flame. I like that too I mean I would have liked a five-man team to just flame but I also like that you have to think a bit um, extra and so they get, I, I think I get eight uh, under the template, but it's a strength four against toughness four. Um, and I don't hit much and then they just tank it on a three up. So pretty, un, pretty underwhelming. And yeah, that's just the way it is. So my Terminator runs into these guys and wants to smash faces. Uh, but there's something called initiative. And this guy has the highest initiative, so he strikes first, then the Marines strike, and my Terminator bravely tanks it this turn. So it's turn four, turn four now. And these guys, um, which were blasted by the Flamer guys, they got also blasted by the Plasma Cannon guys. And I love the Plasma Cannon templates. You just say you want to uh, shoot with a plasma template then you put it on this guy and then you need to roll 2d6s and um and an artillery dies and on a one and six you hit and on the other four it scatters in a different direction and yeah that's beautiful i have to show that um soon and so these guys were on a run and they tried to rally on a seven or eight but they didn't they ran even more like nine inches and one inch more just a half inch more and they would have run away cowards um who's not a coward is this guy this guy gets rammed in the face again and tanks it with a three up um he even throws a grenade at the rhino nothing happens and then there's this melee and because my terminator has a bad initiative We'll see what happens this guy shoots with his double less cannon and his heavy bolter um and yeah the terminator just gone he couldn't tank it and i think that's end of the game that's gg i kind of lost um would i say it was glorious i think the enemy had a had a had had quality troops while i while i just took um chaff it would have been better um, if Sandro would have told me, don't take the flamers, just take another tactical marine squad, or I don't know. But it's okay, no grudges held. I will come back for um, another match, and then I hopefully will inflict a lot of pain onto my mentor. And until then, see us.